Exodus 7, speaking of that, Exodus 13, that's the logo. Not talking about the grocery. That's what they named themselves after, was the grocery store that used to be in Memphis. And on that note, uh, Jigstar, if you don't know who they are, they're the best band from Memphis ever. And usually one of the best bands in the world ever. And if you don't know who they are, I urge you to go find out who they are because they're incredible. Look at them, a bunch of long hairs. <laughs> Doing what they do best, making music. Uh, the song was headed by Alex Chilton. Uh, check out that dude, good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want to hang out with him because he can write really good songs. The band positioned themselves with a songwriting duo, Alex Chilton and the next guy, Chris Bell, sort of modeled themselves after Lennon and McCartney. So, you know, if I had to pick who was who, I'd say Chilton would be Lennon, Chris Bell would be McCartney. I think that's a disservice to the both of them, because obviously this dude is way cooler than McCartney. <laughs> Check him out. So the number one reason, the first reason at least, that 13 is the best love song ever written is the evocative, intricate guitar work. Uh, if there's any guitarists in the rooms and you want to learn this song after you listen to it after this, I hope you have enough fingers. Uh, this guy has five, he still probably can't play it. Uh, I mean, first off, look at all those notes. If anybody can read tabs, like you see it, that's three guitars. Three, that's three measures of music across three guitars. Look at all of this. There's so many of them. <laughs> so it's like, it sounds like four mockingbirds, all set in, all the best, you know, acoustic sessions from the Beatles, Dear Prudence, you know, Here Comes the Sun, and then they flew back to Memphis and sang what they heard through their mockingbird beaks. <laughs> the second reason that it's one of the best love songs I've ever written is because the lyrics involve you personally. Big Star just reaches out their hand and says, Hey, listener, check this out. Grab your hand. You're loving it. That's all there is to it. So here's the first verse. Won't you let me walk you home from school? Won't you let me meet you at the pool? Maybe Friday I can get tickets for the dance, and I'll take you. I'll take you to the dance. It's a little weird as a listener because, I mean, honestly, we just met. I don't understand how to feel about it. You're, you're kind of throwing this on me about going to the pool. I'm not sure if I'm ready for people to see me in the game yet. I'm not sure about that. Let's slow down. Let's slow down a little bit. Whoa, but wait, second verse. Won't you tell your dad to get off my back? Tell him what we said about paint it black. Rock and roll is here to stay. Come inside where it's okay, and I'll shake you. <laughs> obviously, obviously, we do know each other. I didn't know each other. <laughs> we know each other pretty well. We know each other enough that your dad is... My dad bugs you. He's always on your back for that stuff. And I mean, we talk about music in general, so obviously we know each other pretty well. we got a good history together. After that verse, there's this awesome guitar breakdown. It's gorgeous. You don't know what's happening. It's great. So the third verse is a question. This is where you really get involved. Won't you tell me what you're thinking of? Would you be an outlaw for my love? If it's so, well, let me know. If it's no, well, I can go. I won't make you. I won't make you love me. Whoa. <laughs> 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 we, gotta, we gotta slow down, Alex. Look at me. I just met you two verses ago. <laughs> you know, I know my dad's bugging you, but an outlaw? An outlaw? I didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> and I really gotta digest that before I can even answer that question, but I don't have a lot of time left because the song's almost over. <laughs> and so, man, outlaw. So the journey that we take, I don't know you, but wait, hold on a second. We have a deep history, I do know you. So much of my dad bugs you. But do I know you that well? Am I ready to know you that well? Should I know you that well? That's the reason the song's good, is because you don't get closure like this panda. You don't get the closure. <laughs> <laughs> you fill in the right spots, you fill out the panda above, and you make it panda. <laughs> so, versus some other love songs, I'm saying it's the best. According to Stereo Gum, which is a website that lists stuff like songs, the number one love song is My Girl by the Temptations. I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with that song. It's a pretty good song, not gonna lie. Uh, but it just describes a strong relationship. You're not really a part of it. 13 lets you create that You get to decide how good this relationship is. It's up to you. You can tell Alex no, you can tell him yes, you can go hang out in the pool with him, whatever. 
<laughs> so I challenge everybody in the room, uh, next time you hear a love song, compare it to what I've said about 13. And I didn't put my Twitter name up here, but if you see me on the street one day, just let me know what you find out. <laughs> Hey!